all right guys so we got new dev notes from netmarble um this dev notes is pretty much just going over a collective of things from this past year uh what they're planning to do in the coming year and all the new events and content that they're planning to add to the game now you guys already know with previous dev notes how it goes they you know promise things and sometimes they end up not delivering but they actually address that in these dev notes so uh let's go ahead and let's just read through this um it's not a really long dev notes it's pretty pretty quick um a pretty quick read so let's go ahead and let's just jump right into it so we can't believe we're already heading toward the end of 2021 as we are reflecting back on this past year we do have to admit that we have some regrets more so compared to before but i think it's the moment in time we need to pull ourselves together to push forward and finish this year strong i definitely agree i agree wholeheartedly with that um in this dev notes we plan on sharing the direction of our approach to the festival draw banner which many nights around the world have provided feedback and waited for um, we also want to provide a glimpse of what you can expect for next year by giving you a preview of new changes events and contents to come in the year 2022 as we wrap up the current year um so let's go ahead and let's jump in so uh you guys already know that they changed the way festival draw banners work they actually did only have a new festival unit and um you know a new other unit whatever side unit next to them and it was only those two rated up units however they are going back to the traditional way of festival uh banner draws so there will be festival units alongside the new one um which is really really good now i do hope that they keep the rated up percentage for the new festival unit instead of having you know the same base percentages for every single one but that might be a little too hopeful we'll see what they do um but that is really good that they decided to go back to that because a lot of people were really not a fan of that change um you know hashtag bring back the fest right so it worked um which is really really good now here's the thing with that as well they i think they are keeping the um the beginning mid and end of the month banner but it's just going to be like rated up units or something like that. So I, I think that's what they're doing still. I'm not sure, though. I'm not sure. Um, I don't really think they address the, that particular thing in these dev notes. But um, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, okay. So after the festival, you know, banner, which is really nice. Have, okay. Yeah. So um, after, you know, we gave them our feedback, they did decide that, you know, the accessibility of acquiring previous festival heroes during a period of festival. So, um that's pretty much what they took from our feedback right so it makes sense you wouldn't be able to get let's say you don't have goddess elizabeth you wouldn't even be able to get goddess elizabeth unless you summon on the beginning middle and end of the month banner which is terrible um so i'm glad that they decided to go back all right let's see uh oh there's gonna be a festival survey so we'll get to decide which festival units are on the next festival for the first time ever I don't really think that's a huge, huge thing, but it's nice because we'll have a new unit. Um, I'm assuming we'll have three. I think it, d it does say three somewhere in here. I'm not sure, but um, maybe that was just me. But um, I'm assuming it's going to be three other festival units, so we'll get to decide who it is. Hopefully, it's going to be Margaret Bond. I'm pretty sure the one's going to be in there. I'm like 100% sure that the one is going to be there. But uh, yeah, we'll see what you guys decide to um, vote for. But yeah, so let's see. Let's see, festival draw banner is ready to change away. The current monthly special pickup draw. Yeah, so it's gonna be ran until 2021. I guess the end of 2021. Um, but a few changes are expected to be made for improvement, and they'll announce that in a separate notice. Okay. Now here's some um future content updates and stuff like that. So they're gonna reset tower trial clear records. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not the biggest fan of this, but it works because you will be able to get the rewards again. So if you didn't clear it, make sure you try at least to clear a couple of the stages or all of them. So that way when it resets, you can just get the rewards again. Um, again, like I said, I, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of this. I think they should have just added new, like new floors, like consistently, but you know, it is what it is. At least we'll be able to get some of the same rewards that we already got, right? Um, the reset is expected to take place in early January of 2022. So pretty much literally the beginning of next year, uh, this should happen, which is really, really good. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys do that. They also have been working hard to adjust final boss battle and training cave. Now, I know a lot of people have been on their case, man, about training cave. Um, 
and they have addressed that now apparently there's some scheduling problems going on with the dev team so there might be delays with that um we don't know when exactly they're gonna release this or when they're gonna be finished updating the final boss battles in training cave but you guys gotta remember they are human right they do have staffing issues just like every other job every other company sometimes the staffing just doesn't work but um you guys gotta remember as well you know covid hitting and stuff like that so it's gonna take a while right it's not gonna be instant but we will get it they said we will get it so hopefully um it comes sooner rather than later but we will see um they're adding more uh reverse stages so they're gonna add a special form of it i guess i i don't know like it's just basically gonna be more <laughs> reverse stages but it's gonna be composed in the form of a special stage in a new update i don't know very weird very very weird but uh we'll, we'll see what happens with this now this one right here is huge this is humongous right here um so in the ungeared pvp they're going to be literally having a same name update which i think is the biggest thing that this game has ever done i'm not even gonna lie this is crazy so you'll be able to use every single version of a character on the same team when this rule drops i don't know when this rule is gonna drop but um, i'm assuming during the next festival banner we'll have this rule which is insane insane bro i <laughs> bro that that is that is crazy so you'll be able to have multiple versions of characters at the same time that is insane uh we'll see how this works but this right here is gonna be toxic as hell bro toxic man pvp is gonna be crazy um they are also announcing new quality of life system updates so um a lot of things in this game are problematic but i think one of the major things maybe even the biggest thing is the growth um if you've been playing this game for a while you know how easy it was to just level up your character at the beginning of the game to like level 60 and um maybe ssr pendants were your biggest problem but at least it wasn't you know too too time consuming now now we have so much going on that you know newer players are just bombarded with ways to grow and it, it's just annoying right it's just very annoying so what they did was they are planning to add a convergence system uh, where you can get full awakening tokens. Um, very, very strange, right? Very strange, but we don't know how this is going to work. It does say uh, the convergence system are going to have various ways like you can um, use various awakening materials, including, uh, you know, water, life and demons blood. So that way, I guess you can convert it into fully awakening totems i don't know but i'm assuming unless is is this i don't know if this is the same thing we have in game but it i don't know i don't know but the convergence system is new i'm not sure if this is the same star thing that we have in game already or if this is going to be new where like you can just get everything like to level eight i don't know it's, it's very weird very very weird. We'll, we'll see We'll see, but if this is the same thing we have in the game, I don't know if this is the biggest thing ever, but um, we'll see. But it, a new conversion system, we'll have to wait until it drops in game to actually see how it benefits the game and if it's good or not. Um, we also have auto skip tickets. They're gonna roll them out. Um, sure. I, I mean, I don't really think that matters all too much, but they are adding tickets. So if you are interested in that, there you go. Hawk Pass is also gonna be reduced in terms of missions. They are actually finally adding Belmoth Deathmatch dishes, which thank God, like honestly, thank God, because it's been what, half a year since Belmoth dropped and we haven't gotten this yet. So um, that is that is really, really good. Very, very, very good. And then also there's going to be a UI overhaul, which is really, really nice. I feel like UI uh, changes or whatever. Those are really good updates when they like update the UI for it to be more easily accessible and um, easy, you know, just to look at in general, I think those are always going to be one of the best updates for games because it just it just feels like the game is refreshed. So, um, in terms of the dev notes, that's it. Um, that's really it. But there is one other thing that I need to go over really, really quickly. All right, guys. So I had to edit real quick, but this is going to be our newest festival unit full grown wings king oh i mean i don't think anybody was really expecting this but 
it's like a nice treat, right? You know, you're not really expecting a full grown wings king. Because honestly, I thought it was going to be Assault Estorosa. But I, I guess not. I guess King is going to be the newest festival unit just in time for Thanksgiving. So he should drop around then. Um, yeah, literally the day before Thanksgiving, he will drop. So that means he is going to drop on the 8th of December for Global. Um, unless, of course, they change the scheduling. And we should, yeah, yeah, that should lead into either, uh, you know, like another seasonal Christmas unit or, yeah, I, I think that's it, seasonal Christmas unit. And then it ends off the year, maybe another festival unit, but Festival King is coming, so be prepared for that. But uh, in terms of in terms of that, that's all we got for now. But if you guys did enjoy, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe for more Grand Cross content. And as always, you guys already know, I will see you all later.